Workers' comp. It's simple, right? Buy the insurance policy to cover you or your employees and move on with life, right? Not exactly. I'm Joseph with Snetherly Insurance. Oftentimes, a business owner or contractor may require a small workers' compensation policy to meet the requirements of a hiring vendor, such as a general contractor or a landlord for a retail or restaurant establishment, or even an event venue that may require workers' compensation of the food truck or event caterer that is on their premise. Although these policies can be simple to purchase, providing the accurate amount of payroll and information is vital in the beginning of the policy so that you're not popped with a large audit at the end of the policy term. Our agency gets calls weekly regarding this scenario. Hopefully, this animated scene will help you or someone you know understand the necessity of providing accurate payroll before purchasing a workers' compensation policy. Check it out. Hello, Snetherly Insurance. Hey, Joe, this is Travis. I need some workers' comp insurance. Can you help? Hey, Travis, of course we can help. How many employees are working for you now? Well, I don't really have employees. I work with three subcontractors, but I don't really think they need to be included. I just need this for a job. Okay, Travis, I hear you. Let me ask you this. I know you said your subcontractors aren't really employees, but do you make sure they have their own insurance? Oh, I have no idea, but I just need a workers' comp policy for me right now. Can't you do that? Oh yeah, of course we can. But Travis, understand, if they don't have their own insurance, you're responsible for their workers' comp as well. Wait, even though they're not on my payroll and they're not my employees? Yeah, Travis, I'm afraid that's right. And get this, the workers' comp insurance company is legally required to perform an audit at the end of the year. That means if we issue a workers' comp policy for only you, and they learn later that all the subcontractors were not insured with their own insurance, then the insurance company will charge you for covering all of them for the entire year. What's more, you may have to pay that fee in one large sum. Hey look, I'm not trying to make things difficult for you here, Travis. I just want to make sure we do this policy right so we're not burned with a large fee at audit time. Our agency has seen way too many disgruntled customers that thought they were getting workers' comp for cheap, only to find that they had to pay a large fee for uninsured subcontractors in the end. And I'd rather you not be one of those disgruntled customers. Know what I mean, my friend? Wow. Yeah, that's valuable information. Thanks for educating me on this, Joe. Sounds like I need to have an insurance talk with my subcontractors before we uh, before we put workers' compensation in place. I'll get back with you on this soon. Thanks again, Joe. I always appreciate you looking out for me.